okay uh, today we will study how to prepare the contingency table for three attributes okay now the technique is very simple you just need 10 lines remember we just need 10 lines okay so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so you need 10 lines okay now what we do is we divide the entire table into three blocks okay now which are the three blocks <clears throat> now you write a okay block a and i'll just draw a vertical line here so it'll become easy for you okay so you have block a over here then write b beta total so this is the first block a which has b beta total okay next will be the block for alpha and again we write b beta total okay so a block b beta total then alpha again b beta total and lastly we write total here and again b beta total so three blocks are here a block alpha block and total ka block now <coughs> a mein you have b beta total okay i'll just draw a double line here so that we can see the blocks clearly okay so this was the a block then you have the alpha block and last may ye raha total ka block okay so ye a or b to fit ho gaye ab bari aati hai c gamma and total ki so what we do is we again draw a line here okay and then we'll have c gamma and last way yahan par aayega total so this completes the table okay so basically you have 10 lines here 3 6 9 aur ye upar wali ek line jo hai that is a 10th line okay <clears throat> we now uh, fill up the frequencies <clears throat> so let's see how we fill up the frequencies now it's very easy now yahan pe kaun si frequency aayegi the frequency here would be a b c so we write a b c the frequency here would be a beta c so here you have a beta c yahan par frequency hogi a b gamma so here you have the frequency a b and gamma here you will have the frequency for a beta gamma so you have a beta gamma now let us add these two so yahan pe frequency aa jayegi a c yahan par common kya hai a gamma so here also you have a gamma so we write the frequency a gamma ab horizontally add karte hain in dono mein common letters kya dikh rahe hain aapko a b right so a b to yahan total frequency aa jayegi a b ki now here the frequency would be c you have a beta here a beta here so you just write a beta now if you add these two further a c and a gamma common letter kya dikh raha hai aapko a c and gamma to opposites hai so here it would be frequency of a similarly if you add these two what is the common letter here a okay to ye ho gaya aapka first block let's go to the second block now yahan pe kaun si frequency aayegi it will be alpha b c so here we write alpha b c over here alpha beta c so here frequency aayegi alpha beta c let's try the frequency here alpha b gamma so you have alpha b gamma and over here alpha beta aur ye gamma ka column hai so you have alpha beta gamma now let us add the frequencies horizontally and vertically in dono mein common letters kya dikh rahe hain aapko alpha c right so yahan frequency aayegi for alpha c here you have alpha gamma common right so we write alpha gamma you add these two alpha b common hai so yahan pe hum likh denge alpha b aur in dono mein common kya hai alpha beta 
Now again we add these two. See, in those are common. The common frequent uh, attribute is alpha. Here also you see the common attribute alpha. So here we write alpha. Now let's go to the last block. <clears throat> Now we don't write total B C over here. We simply write B C. So here frequency will be B C. Here the frequency would be beta C. So we write beta C over here. Here it would be B gamma. So we write B gamma. And lastly, beta gamma. So we write beta gamma. Okay. Let's add the frequencies horizontally and vertically. ये दोनों में common attribute क्या दिख रहा है C. So we write C over here. Here the common attribute is gamma. If you add it horizontally, B, right? So B common letter आ गया. इन दोनों में common क्या है? Beta. So you have beta over here. Now we know that A plus alpha, B plus beta, and C plus gamma all result in N. So C plus gamma would be N, B plus beta would also be N. So this is how you prepare the contingency table for three attributes. So basically, remember you divide the entire table into three blocks: A, alpha, total. फिर आपको लिखना है B, beta, total, B, beta, total, और यहाँ पर भी B, beta, total. Then यहाँ पे you have to mention C, gamma, total. Then fill up the corresponding frequencies, okay, and complete the Table. So this is how the three attribute contingency table is prepared. Okay, we will <coughs> later see what is the relationship between the three blocks that we have divided. Okay, so keep watching for the next video.